Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iPhone 15, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max or older to iOS 17.2 and get the Journals app. Let's get started. So let's kick things off. We're going to open up our settings application. We're going to run the update. And once it's updated, you'll be able to get the journals app. So we'll tap on general. We're going to tap on software update. And depending on how you have your updates set up, it's going to download them only. It may have already requested to install. I just have them downloaded only. If you have nothing, you'll have to run the download. It'll show you an updates available. Tap to download it. It might take a little bit of time. You can also check here what is available and how much space is needed for these updates. So 1.49 gigabytes. You need that space on your phone. If you don't have enough, delete some videos, delete some files that are there. And then you can tap learn more here to see what's all about this update. And the first one is the journal app. There's also action button changes here too. So this is a pretty substantial update considering it's just a 0.2 update. So once you have this ready, you want to make sure you have enough battery power up to 20%, I believe, on your iPhone. Otherwise, plug it to a charger. I strongly recommend you back up your device. It's up to you. But if something goes wrong, you could have issues. It's very rare, but it could happen. And once you're all set, tap update now prompt you for your passcode. And now it's going to request the update and go through the whole updating process. I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But depending on your internet speed and how many people are updating at the same time, it could take a while. Okay, so update went. This will pop up for you. You can tap install now or later. We'll tap install now. And that preparation took forever. It took about 25 minutes for me and it froze midway. Let me know in the comments how long it took for you to prepare that update. And at this point, it's going to go through the verification, which again is taking really long for me here. But as the phone does run the installation, you'll notice that it turns off like this. The screen will just go black and then it'll turn back on. It may do this a few times. You'll see a bar appear in the middle an Apple logo and so on. You don't want to unplug the phone if you have it to your charger. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to do anything. Just let it run this update and installation and I'll come back when it's done. So finally the update's done and it's installed. It took long again. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's taking a long time. We'll go into settings here. I'll show you that we have updated here. So we're gonna go down to general and software update and you'll see we have iOS 17.2. Now let's take a look at the new journals app which I just moved over quickly to the front page here. So this is what it looks like right here, this little icon. If we tap on it, it opens up journal where you can write about your day, add photos, places, and more. And this is supposed to help you in general with just kind of releasing sort of, you know, whatever's going on. It's just a great way uh, for self-help, mental health, all that stuff. And if you've ever done journaling in the past, this is a way that you can do it through your iPhone and iPad. So we'll tap continue here. You can start journaling just by tapping the plus and starting. I'll be putting together a full tutorial video on how to use the journal, all the features that are built in it and what you can do. So if you wanna see that video, have a look at my channel. It'll be up probably next week, if not up already. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos and this video. And as always, if this was helpful, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or ran into any trouble, feel free to ask in the comments. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.